Okay, guys, stock market technical analysis. I'm going to get into it. We're about to close out the year. One more trading day tomorrow. So let's get into the trade ideas. I'm going to show you guys where the charts are likely heading. Of course, I don't know exactly where the markets are going. Nobody does. All we can do is use the charts and technical analysis to be our guide. Okay, so if you're new, subscribe. This is not a day trading channel per se. It's more really about finding swing trades, where to get key positions for tradable trends and we use the charts to really be our guide here um, and guys if you're interested in the private group I was in there this morning put you guys on a winner for the rally this morning I'm gonna show a little bit of what I kind of how that private group shows up so in the private member group section I just want to kind of show you guys what I talked about this morning you can see seven hours ago so I put this out pre-market uh, maybe about 10 minutes before the market was about to open and um, again, that's about as early as I can typically do it. I'm on the Pacific Coast. You know, I was up around six, looked at the charts, submitted to you guys what I saw to the private member group. You can see basically I said there's a good chance for a rally today. If the breakout in the NASDAQ futures sticks, then NQ has, because NASDAQ futures has a bullish following wedge pattern with bullish divergence on the PPO and the RSI. And I showed the hourly chart below and then also I showed the triple Q's saying that triple Q's was likely going to break out as well. So here's the chart that I put out. This is the NASDAQ futures, really pre-market. And what I was trying to point out was one, the bullish divergence on both momentum indicators. And two, the fact that we were look, looked like we were having a breakout of this bullish falling wedge and it was likely going to spark a rally. Okay, so I talked about that, really talking about how I thought that we need to see impulsive uh, buying uh, if I read more, you can see basically I was looking for impulsive buying on the open, kind of a gap up and then buyers to step in and buy the market. And then here's the other chart, triple Q's. Now the triple Q's had this downward channel, kind of a downward wedge um, that I wanted to point out, but really it was about where the pre-market was at. You can see here in the pre-market, 263.13. So we were going to open right around that area is what I was looking at. And then sure enough, bullish divergence on both momentum indicators. So again, I thought, okay, we we're likely going to rally. And then, uh, you know, that's about it. You know, I thought we were going to rally. And then I was looking at the level. If I roll up, uh, I don't have it. But first level of resistance was about 267.50 right in here. You can see the reaction there and there. So that's the kind of stuff I'm putting out there in the pre-market. Now let's look at, you know, and that's for the member group only. Again, it's five bucks a month. Um, sure enough, that's exactly what happened. Here's the daily chart on triple Q's. You can see we basically gapped up and just rallied right up to my first target. Let me break it down to the hourly right here. And there it is, okay? So we gapped up and sure enough, just the buyer stepped right in, exactly what I was looking for, exactly what I told the private member group what to look for. So hopefully m many of the private members were able to profit on that. I know I did. Uh, and then and I gave you guys this in advance before the trade showed up. I'm not giving you guys, you know, after the fact analysis, uh, you know, I'm for the most part trying to give you analysis ahead of where something's heading. Uh, and so there it is, first zone of resistance. Now as I zoom out, we, we have the potential to rally. Um, I need to see a breakout of about above 267.50. Next level of resistance, I've got a gap right here on the hourly chart, so I think we'll probably fill that gap on the next move up which is about 272 76 and then and then i've got one final level i really don't think there's much beyond that besides this 279 it's about 279 50 anywhere up to 280 okay so three levels of resistance we just hit the first one so we're likely going to consolidate or pull back um and then if we break above that, that's the next buy signal, run up to the next level, fill the gap, consolidate or pull back, and then hit the final level. <clears throat> All right. For me, going back to the daily chart, I, uh, I would be looking to uh, short right there. All right. Boom. 279.80, 280, anywhere in there would be the level uh, where I want to short at. So... <clears throat> Now you guys know what my game, what my trading plan is for uh, you know the next near future days, weeks, whatever. I don't know how long it's going to take if we get up here, um, but it does look likely that we will get up there or at least get up to some of these other levels. I think we probably will hit at least at the second one, and and, and very likely this 279.50. So 
That is my game plan. Again, profitable trade for anybody that was involved with it. Let's look at FSLR. So everything's gonna be rallying right now. Here's for solar. Again, hit support, kind of mark that out, 145.39. You can see that was resistance, support, support, okay? So that's it, no sell signal until we break that next level. So if you shorted this thing, you know, it's at support, it held support. We don't have another con continued sell signal until we break that support. If we break that support, I don't see much in the way of this thing until probably either down to 127.24 or one about 119.50 okay and i really do like that 119.50 area so i think that's likely but maybe we bounce so maybe we go like this and then break down okay that's all i have on that one uh, for me you know and i don't really try in the private member group i'm not always telling you guys exactly what i'm doing you know i'm you know if i see a trade i'm gonna take a shot at it today looked like we had an opportunity for a long trade for a rally and I, and I took it and it was profitable. Towards the end of the day, I closed out my long. Uh, let's go back to the triple Qs. And again, I'm talking about a trade on triple Qs. <clears throat> Towards the end of the day, I closed out my long because we hit that resistance level, 267.50. So that was the first level of where I thought we'd get a reaction. We did hit it, took my profit on that long trade and I'm just flat right now. Again, it's holiday trading, so I'm not trying to get all crazy but just went home flat. Uh, I will, you know, I'll probably trade another long trade if we break above this 267.50 for a move up to this gap fill, all right? Otherwise, maybe I'll buy a pullback because um, I think we could probably get a little rally here. We could buy a pullback, hit this 262.75, pull back to support and then bounce off support, hit resistance, probably break at that time and make a move up to the next uh, level of resistance where a reaction would be likely. So maybe something like that over the coming uh, days to weeks. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, natural gas. I'm not sure if I pointed this one out. I definitely am kind of eyeballing this one. <clears throat> I think I talked about it in a video, but not, it's not actionable yet, but it does look like there is a potential trade setup here on this one. Let's go to the, uh, we'll go to the hourly. Hourly is fine. On the hourly, bullish divergence on both momentum indicators. We're kind of rocking down this uh, trend line. I can't make anything out that's super clean in terms of a, a pattern yet. The only thing I can make out is this level of resistance. All right, is it resistance right there. Now we haven't broken out, so I think we probably, you know, still need to hit it. And I'm, I need to see that breakout. We get that breakout, we're probably gonna run up to a minimum target of about 574, We'll just call it 575, all right? Just round it out. You can see that's former support, uh, kind of some gaps right back here. There's enough reactions to validate that. So I think you get the buy signal, which is a break of the trend line. Boom, you probably run up there. Guys, if you're looking for, you know, to add to a skill set and kind of learn, you know, I'm not teaching people how to day trade. I'm not teaching you how to just make all this money every single day day trading. What I'm teaching you is, what the charts are telling you, how to read the charts, and how to use the information that's in there in the charts to have an advantage in the market, okay? It's not guaranteeing any profit, but I am giving an advantage because if you can read the charts and understand what they're ch telling you, then it will give you uh, higher probability trades, okay? So that is what the trading course is all about. It's all about uh, reading the charts, finding good setups, finding what you know when to take trades, how to take trades in terms of risk management, kind of the key fundamental things of technical analysis and trading. So check it out. If you guys haven't taken it, I'm telling you, there's a lot of value in there and I priced it affordable. So check it out, link in the description below. Link in the description for the private member group. Again, today's price action likely would have paid for the, a year's worth of membership uh, if you just took today's trade. Okay, let's look at something I haven't pointed out in a while, Boeing. Let me kind of clean the chart up. Here's, someone asked me to, you know, one of my subscribers or members asked me to check this one out, so here's what I got on Boeing. Um, now, we could rally, Boeing could obviously rally a little bit over the next, uh, you know, few days. It just depends on what the market wants to do, and we are in holiday trading, but bigger picture, daily chart, negative divergence on the PPO and the RSI, okay? That's a daily we have a trend line to watch. So on this, this one goes all the way back to 2019. You can see resistance, lots of reactions. I've got them all marked out. 
tons of reactions there to validate that. And zooming in on the more most recent price action, you can see we're kind of just above that trend line right in here. Uh, but with that negative divergence of telling me that this is likely going to be a false breakdown. Now, I don't know what it does in the next few days. What I'm really, I don't really care what it does in the next few days. What I'm looking for is a sell signal. Okay, the divergence is telling me, you know, be on the lookout for a sell signal. The sell signal in my mind is a break and I've got kind of two trend lines. Let me zoom down to the hourly here. I've got this one. All right, this is kind of a, a shorter term trend line. And then there's the major one. I'm looking to take both those out. So some sort of a break, all right, of that level. Boom, big impulsive break down there. Should be the sell signal and should set us up. At a minimum, I would think at least a move down to the 200 day moving average, possibly a lot lower, okay? <coughs> so that is, that is a trade setup, not actionable yet, but definitely a good setup. Okay, SOXX semiconductors. Probably going to, trade in line with triple Q's. Um, but <clears throat> we got a little more information today. So I got to kind of point that out. Here's today, you can see basically gapping up running up higher, just like the rest of the market. But this is the price action I'm keying in on. See these hourly candles right here, they're kind of kind of hit, it's like they hit resistance, like a wall of resistance. And so I want to I want to mark that out. And if I zoom out, you can see that basically if I move this down to this little right there, um, right in that area, right about there. Um, that basically, we had a reaction back in here. Uh, we had resistance here and sure enough, there it is. So we are at resistance on SOXX, semiconductors, pullback or consolidation is likely. Maybe that's the end of the rally. You know, Maybe it's just a one day wonder and then it, we're gonna continue selling off. That's completely possible. Um, I'm not confident that that's gonna be the case and especially with just one day tomorrow, I'd prefer to wait till January before getting back into a position on the short side. Um, I, I think we might have a little more of a rally to go through. So maybe we want to rally back up to the trend line and then we'll look to short it right up there. Okay, so that's that one. But the point is each day we get new information and we need to make sure that we're accounting for the information that is in the charts to give us the highest indication of where the stock might head in the future. Okay, someone asked me to cover silver. I'm not gonna go through all the silver stocks, but I will cover SLV. So silver, starting to have negative divergence, just barely, but it is showing up here on the daily. Okay, there it is on the PPO and there it is on the RSI. Uh, the RSI, yeah, negative divergence there. So it's been kind of popping and making these divergent highs, but it's it looks like it's putting in kind of a short-term top. Again, I think there's probably a pullback coming in silver. What I would be looking for is this trend line down here. We have the makings of an uptrend <clears throat> in terms of a trend line, but we do not, um, you know, we only have a couple reactions. We've got one, you know, if I zoom out, we've got one, hold on guys, gotta get the right tool. One, two, and then, so maybe if we're gonna get a pullback, we might run down to that trend line and then bounce. And if we do, that would validate that trend line. So I still like silver longer term. I still like gold. I still I still want to buy the dips in the these things. I'm not shorting uh, gold or silver right now, but I but I think there's probably a pullback coming. I don't know. That's just the best I can do is is uh, read the information I have in front of me. Okay, Ark Ark Invest. This is a highly speculative stocks, but the thing is is that if you're gonna have a rally. Um, you know, these things can typically run a lot more than uh, the, the big mega cap stock. So something to look at. I'm not super interested, but what I do want to point out is on the daily chart, we're near long term support. OK, so on the daily, you can see, boom, support, support, support. And sure enough. And again, I've always talked about this being the trend line where I think ARC was heading to. And we're just overhead, all right? A little bit more downside. If I zoom in, it's about from where we're at now. Oh, about another 11%, which is not a lot for this thing, but 11% downside till that hits that kind of major support. So I don't know if we're gonna bounce right here or just run down and hit that 11%. Obviously the rally that got started today might just be a one day thing, but we'll, we'll see. Um, looking at the hourly chart, I don't really have a whole lot going on in the hourly in terms of divergence. Just really what I wanna point out is the fact that we're coming close and it's 
for me, it's just saying, okay, we're getting close to this longer term support here on this one. So we might, you know, we might sustain, have a sustainable bottom or near term bottom in some of these highly speculative stocks and, you know, could start spark a, could spark a rally. Um, I, I still think, you know, going back to kind of round it all up on the triple Qs, I still think whether we do continue to rally, and especially if we rally up to this 279, I still think there's another down, uh, another leg lower, all right? And I'm still looking for 238, 240-ish on that leg lower, uh, but it doesn't have to come right now, okay? We could, we could rally and then roll over. That's kind of what I'm thinking is going to happen at this point. Now that I see this rally that we just sparked, I think maybe we could probably rally up here and then roll over. Um, but that's it. So that's all I got, guys. Hopefully you're finding value in the content. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if you were able to profit on the, the rally call today. Uh, you know, it was something for the private member group. So I can't, you know, I, again, I can't get the information out to the whole YouTube channel. Uh, just as quickly as I can that private member group. So I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.